Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and this is going to be an introduction to this Omega 4 Drupal 7 course. And now I'm going to approach this a little bit differently. And now I've planned this course out. Uh, it's not just going to be a series of maybe sometimes related uh, tutorials. This is going to be a complete site building. Uh, you're going to learn all about the ins and outs of Omega 4, what's different, how to get by, and how to do everything. Uh, you're also going to learn about what's different in Omega 4, how to use all the cool SAS functions that are within it, how to use all the cool Drush stuff that's going on, and basically how to use one of the most advanced, cool uh, Drupal parent themes that exists. Um, so this is brand new, it's cool stuff, and it's way different from Omega 3. So if you've downloaded Omega 3 and you're used to it, and then you thought, hey, let's try Omega 4 and are completely stumped, or you've never used Omega at all, this is the video series for you. You're going to learn everything here. So what does this course assume? This course assumes that you have at least a knowledge of Drupal at all. You've installed Drupal, you've used Drupal, you've maybe watched our videos before. This also assumes that you have a working Drupal installation. This course will not go over installing Drupal. We do have videos for that on our channel. Uh, you can check those out if you want to learn how to install Drupal uh, locally on your machine. However, I'm going to be starting with a completely fresh copy of Drupal here. That way we can make sure that there's going to be nothing else getting in the way of learning Omega. This course also assumes that you have Drush installed. We have a video tutorials on Drush also on our channel. However, it's not required, uh, but we will be going over things using Drush and without using Drush. So this assumes that you already either know how to install Drush or have it installed. This course also assumes that you have at least a very basic understanding of what SAS is. We're not going to be going over the SAS basics here. Uh, however, it's not a topic that's extremely difficult if you have CSS knowledge. So keep watching. In this series, we're going to go over everything.